Hello everyone, today's project is making a console table and transforming my entryway. Uh, here I'm just measuring out all of the boards that I got from Home Depot. Um, if you didn't know, your boards that you buy from any home improvement store aren't the exact measurements that are on the tag. So for example, these are two by twos, but they're really about one and a half by one and a half. So I'm measuring all my boards just to make sure I know exactly what they are and then drawing out the design of the console table and measuring out exactly what my different lengths will be. And later I'll show you exactly what lengths I chose. Later on, you'll see that I messed up my measurements, of course, but these are the right measurements for the base of the table, and then I used a one by 12 for the table top. Here, I'm making the legs of the table using the 32 inch long boards as the legs, and then putting the eight and a quarter inch boards between them to brace and to add support. Now I'm putting the 44 and 3 quarter inch boards between the two to frame out what the tabletop will sit on and what the bottom shelf will sit on. So, I'm notoriously bad at measurements. <laughs> I subtracted, like I was measuring for the top of the table and um, whenever I was measuring how long my pieces of the base should be, I subtracted an inch and a half because that's the thickness of these sideboards, but I didn't subtract an inch and a half from the other side. So now everything is an inch and a half too long. <sighs> I have to take it all apart and cut off an inch and a half off of every board. This is how we learn. After cutting off an inch and a half of every single board, I put it all back together the exact same way. Next, I used some scrap wood that I had in my garage and I just used wood glue and attached it to make a cute little bottom shelf. Then I just put wood glue all along the top frame that the top of the table will sit on. Uh, this wood that I got was, I got curbside at Home Depot, so I didn't go in and pick out these pieces of wood. Uh, so these aren't the best pieces. They're a little warped and not super straight. Uh, but that's what I get for not picking them out myself. So I just reinforced the top of the table with some two inch screws uh, to keep it in place. Then, you know the drill, I just sanded it all down and got it ready to be stained. I used a stain called Golden Oak and I found it at Home Depot and I love this stain. I think it's my new favorite. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see that my table kind of wobbles a little bit. Again, that's because of the, uh, the quality of boards that I got. They are all the same length, the legs, but whenever you screw all of the frame in together, if they're not perfectly straight, they will go kind of at a diagonal. So that's kind of why it wobbles a little bit, but I'm putting a little furniture uh, thing underneath one of the legs to make it more stable. I found this really big mirror on Facebook Marketplace. It came with one of the dressers I bought a while back and I haven't had any use for it. So I just painted it black and put it in my entryway. 